Hi, this is your girl Alexis aka Center Retro and today's video I'm going to be doing a basically I'm going to be doing a goals for 2018 I'm going to be doing two of these videos the first one is going to be more of like life goals and the second one is going to be more of like hair goals so I'll have 10 for 10 so it's 20 goals all together but I'm separating in two videos so the first one is going to be about my life goals for this year of 2018 goal is basically work in school so if you guys want to know a little bit about me about my work history, or my work history or like my schooling history what please watch my 21 things i learned 21 years because i go more into like so if you watch that video you'll understand some of the stuff i'm talking about now this will get a better idea of me now. So please watch that video first. I will put it in the description box below. And I will also put it in a card for you guys can um, watch it. So basically, if you guys don't know that um, in, 2000, in 2016, I had got a job. But I couldn't start working that job until um, 2000 and, in 2017 in January. So I got the job in the end of December, but I couldn't start working until the middle of January. So I worked that job for a year and two months, and I planned on working that job longer. It was for a really, it was for a good company, you know, it had benefits with the healthcare and stuff like that. But it was just a negative environment, and even before getting that job, um, the person who interviewed me even told me that it was a lot of drama and stuff like that. And even when I was working there, the first couple of days, people were telling me, like, hey, stay out of drama because these certain people, this, that, and third. It was a lot of he said, she said. It was it was just a very negative environment. It was just, like, it was just, like, the customers, the supervisors, some of the workers. And I tried everything I can. I talked to everybody I could talk to. I was trying to transfer to another apartment. And it was just so much drama. It's, like, people was literally coming and going, coming and going. And it's just, like... It was a very, you know, negative environment. And I had to, I tried as long as I could. And I just eventually put my two weeks notice and I just couldn't do it anymore. It was just so much stuff that happened there that was just uncalled for. And one thing I definitely learned last year and a year before that is to, when you're in a negative environment, do not keep yourself in. If you don't, if it's not worth it, guys, if it's not worth it, you can always get another job. Don't think that you have to stay at a negative environment. You really don't. I think these last couple of years, 2016 and 17, I think I have grown so much as a person, as a woman, and just really have like just educated myself and just have grown so much from when I used to be when I was younger. I have grown so much as a person, and I'm just so happy. And one of the good things I can say from working there that I made a friend and my friend is actually she just had turned 20 29 i believe last year turned 29 last year and she was telling me when she was 25 she had went back to college and she think she had went back to college when she was 25 and she i think she has like three more months left of college and just talking to her and i'm still friends where i still talk to her and that really inspired me to want to go back to school so I did try to go back, but I couldn't get my financial aid back. But I can try again. So I'm gonna I'm not giving up yet. I'm gonna see what I can do if I can get my financial aid back. Or if I do have to pay out of pocket, how much it would it be? Even if I'm just taking two classes. Um I just really wanna go. I really am thinking about going back. But I do know in the meantime I'm gonna have to get a job. It's just that, you know, a lot of these, you know, part time jobs, you know, these retail or food service or these jobs are just very, they are very stressful and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm only 22 years old. I'm still young. I still have a lot to learn and stuff like that. And I'm still growing as a person. But I definitely think these last couple of years I have grown so much. And I just want to continue to grow. But I am going to focus on really trying to find a decent job and seeing if I really want to go back to school or not. And my second goal this year is communication. Just basically standing up for myself more i think i'm a very nice person but i do think i'm too nice and i think sometimes i don't stand up for myself as much but last year really pushed me and i really am proud of myself i really stood up for myself a lot last year and i'm just so proud of myself and i want to continue to stand up for what i believe in 
and not to be afraid to use my voice because God gave me a voice to use and to stand up for myself and talk about topics that I believe in. And I'm not going to allow other people to make me afraid to be who I am and to use my voice. So that's definitely something I want to do. And also to practice what I preach. You know, I think it's easy to give other people advice, but sometimes it's hard to take your own advice. So that's something that I really want to work on is to practice what I preach and to take my own advice, basically, and just to stand up for myself and continue to stand up for myself. And the third goal I have this year is motivation. These last couple of um, weeks, I just not have been motivated. I don't know if it was because I'm not in school or I'm not working, and I really, really tried that job, and I think that was just... It, that had really took a toll on me because I, I had went through a lot of stuff even the year before um, last year. And I think I was just getting over a lot of stuff. And I'm just that probably, you know, these last couple of weeks I kind of was feeling a little down. But these last couple of days I've been getting a little bit more motivated, you know. It's probably because, you know, it's still cold outside too. You know, sometimes the weather can make you depressed and sad. But hopefully now that it's about to be springtime, uh, I'm getting back to feeling myself again. I was feeling a little down, but I do feel a lot better now. Four is basically to go out more. I'm more of like a homebody. I'm more of like an introverted person. I'm kind of awkward, goofy. I don't go out that much, but that is one of my goals this year to just go out with friends and family more. Like even if it's like just to the movies or just to go shopping or you know what I mean? Like just, you know, even walk around the park. I do just want to get out the house more and not just stay in the house so much you know what i'm saying i just want to go out more and just you know experience life and just have fun number five is basically to take care of my skin and take care of my hair and stuff like that basically just hygiene because now that i am in my early 20s i do need to start taking care of my skin and stuff because you know when you're younger you can kind of get away with not washing your face a couple of days and you'll be okay but now that i am getting older just making sure i'm taking care of my hygiene you know, i'm brushing my teeth you know twice a day washing my face and stuff like that for I have brought some products for my face and stuff like that for I can um so I do have like a um I do have a skincare routine now and if you guys want to see a video of that I can also make a video of my skincare routine just let me know if you want me to do a skincare routine because I can do that if you guys like to see that so I haven't taken care of my skin and I recently just cut my hair. I trimmed it and I did this hairstyle. This is the first time me doing this hairstyle. And I think it came out pretty cute. It's like it's not perfect, but I think it came out pretty cute and I really do like it. Um so just taking care of my hair, taking care of my skin, you know, stuff like that. And just, you know, hygiene and just stuff like that. And number six had to kind of go with the hygiene basically. You know, kind of, and then number six, kind of, you know, taking care of my skin, taking care of my body too, and that means eating better, exercising more. And honestly, 2016, in 2016, I was exercising a lot, and also I ended up losing like 13 pounds. And then the next year, 2017, from working my job, it was such a fast-paced job, I ended up losing over 30 pounds just from working that job. So, but I am starting to kind of slowly gain a little bit of that back. So I just want to continue to like exercise and stuff like that and just eat better. And I've been trying to eat healthy on and off for years. Um, I try to go vegan multiple times. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard because I love, I just like love me some, I love me like macaroni. I love macaroni and cheese. I love pizza. And also both of my parents are from New Orleans. So they cook that, you know, that down south cooking you know, that food is really good. You know, that fried chicken, the, you know, red beans and rice and stuff like that. So they know, both my parents know how to cook. And also we do live in um, Ohio. So Midwest got a lot of comfort food also. So it is kind of hard, you know, to eat right. But I always did love fruit and vegetables. And I don't necessarily eat that much. Because when I was younger, I used to eat when I was just bored. I don't do that really that much. But... I still could eat better. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I can eat better now that I'm older. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to eat better food and stuff like that. So that's something to work on, like exercising 
And, you know, I'm not trying to be, like, stick skinny or nothing like that, but I just do want to be a lot more healthier just because it is good to take care of your health and take care of Number life. seven is working on my music. I definitely want to start writing music more. I definitely want to start making beats more. I want to start writing more music. And I also want to start doing more covers. Um, I think I've have, I have grown a lot musically. And I also have more confidence. Before, I was kind of, you know, afraid to, like, do covers and sing, you know, and saying and stuff so but now I'm a lot more confident in my voice so I love to do more covers and just work on my music more and stuff it's just learning how to save money better and just just learning about stuff like that you know saving money and just supporting more small YouTube channels and also more black YouTube channels I would like to you know since I am a small YouTube channel I'm also a black woman I would like to support more you know small YouTube channels and more black YouTube channels because I watch a lot of YouTube videos of different YouTubers and I just wanted to, you know, just to um, see more, you know, smaller YouTube channels and also see more black YouTube channels. So if you guys know any good small YouTube channels or any really good black YouTubers that I don't know of, um, please comment up below any YouTubers that you guys like and recommend it to me. Um, I would just like to you know, see more, you know youtubers small youtubers black youtubers and stuff like that um so just comment in the comment box below like I always say stay true to yourself stay blessed be happy be nice to people and deuces face and stuff like that for i can um so i do have like a um i do have a skincare routine now and if you guys want to see a video of that, I can also make a video of my skin tear routine. And just let me go, like just just let me know that in the um just let me know in the comment box below if you guys want to see what do. Just let me just let me know in the comments box below if you guys want me to do a skincare routine because I can do that guy. <laughs> just let me know if you want me to do a skincare routine because I can do that if you guys like to see that. So I haven't taken care of my skin and I recently just cut my hair.